on today? I've got my kids Polaris Outlaw 90. This is a 2007. Uh, they've outgrown it. I'm trying to sell it, but we've got a little problem. Starter doesn't seem to be working. That's all going to be located inside here. Let's take it apart, see what it takes to get this guy fixed. Or should I say this lady? Okay, I got my knee pad down because I am an old man. Uh, I've got a number eight. Uh, eight millimeter hex head in order to get off two, four, six, eight, about eight or nine of these little bolts. Um, this this little uh, footrest trim piece is in the way of some of these bottoms, so I've got a number 10, uh, 10 millimeter um, to get this guy off as well as a screwdriver. So we'll get that done. Okay, so after removing four bolts and um, six um, Phillips head screws, I can now paste, take this piece of trim off. I'm going to clean everything up as well while I'm taking it apart to get some of this dirt and mud off of it. And, uh, and now I've got to take off uh, this cover plate. And that is going to be an 8 millimeter socket. Um, and don't forget, there's some hose clamps. These are held on, just crimped with a, a Phillips uh, screwdriver. You're going to have to take those off as well. You can leave the Kickstarter on. I do believe it's connected to this plate, so we'll see. Okay, so with all those bolts removed, I can now pull this plate off. I can see a lot of metal dust in there, but everything uh, for the Kickstarter looks good. I'll clean this up. So now down inside here, I do see two little pieces of metal. I'm betting these are from the clutch, uh, which is located behind here. So I need, I need to take this nut off so I can pull this pulley assembly out and I'll show you all the parts behind it. But this is kind of frustrating to get out without a puller since this thing is going to rotate. Uh, what will really help you is uh, an impact. Yeah. All right. That came right off. All right, so now we're going to very carefully take all of these pieces off. I'm going to lay them out on a piece of paper so we don't get anything confused. Okay, so I've pulled out the clutch and laid each part on this board so you can see where the first nut is to this has a lot of air fins on it to help cool it and the different parts of the clutch and then finally the uh, starter clutch down here and what I want to show you is there's supposed to be three uh, Phillips head screws that are holding this thing together uh, they have all sheared off and um, the parts that make up this clutch are essentially kind of falling apart so it was held together because it was all sandwiched with the rest of the clutch assembly but this is uh, our problem, and so we do need a new starter clutch. So I'm going to go order one of those right now. Okay, so a quick search on Amazon, and I found the part I needed for about 35 bucks, 36 bucks. Okay, it's now 48 hours later. I have the new um, starter clutch, and uh, I have slid it on the shaft. Just so you know, the gear that it came with was actually too big, so I am still using the original gear that it came with, but this right here is the new um, clutch, and um, I did have to take this gear off, which is held on with two screws here. I didn't film that, but uh, I'll take another shot after I put um, the little bracket that holds that on. There's just two nuts. Um, two screws on each side that hold that on uh, right there, so I will do that now. Okay, so I now have this new this this piece back on uh, and now I will uh, in the same order put all these pieces of the um, uh, Clutch back together Okay, I have everything reassembled and I did use a torque uh, drill to get that nut on so we'll uh, give it a shot and make sure it works properly before I put everything else back on. Now I'm just going to reverse the process and put all the cover plates on as well as the um, uh, air cool hose and uh, we'll get this thing put back together. I gave her a little bit of a polish and I got a buyer picking her up tomorrow. It'll be under the Christmas tree for his daughter.